All right, Jeb Scott. I am going to um, uh, acknowledge you and uh, let people know that you know two people participated in what I called a semi contest. I asked them to. Um, I, if most people know. First of all, let me say, hey, y'all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me. You know, everybody, we trying to deal with the crazy out there, so we deal with our mental stuff in here, okay? Um, Jeb, I didn't give you a shout out, and I wanted to let people know that there's only three people participated about six months ago in my... <laughs> Maybe last year at this time, maybe 10 months ago, I asked a question, and I can't remember. It's on one of them videos back there. It was either on Blog Talk or on YouTube. And whoever asked, I, everybody knows that I'm a car enthusiast. I love old cars, not just in new cars. Not, them, them don't do nothing for me. I love the old rides, okay? And I have pretty much a replica of... Um, most of the cars, I would say, from 79 on down, back, before. Not too much ahead. I don't have any 80s or 90s because I'm not into the cars in the years. I was interested in them big ones, like those big deuce and the quarters. And the <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Or the, um, um, the big Oldsmobiles. The... Um, Bel Airs and LeBarons and all those uh, things that I drove in. When we used to go down south in the summertime, we used to pile up in the station wagon, go down south. Um, I remember my uncle um, basically having like a 79 LeBaron station wagon with the paneling on the doors. And that was the Chisnick back in the day. That was the Chisnick. <laughs> you know, and we thought we were so cool, man. We had our. Um, I, I think about whenever I see Johnson Family Vacation, because we had our little suitcases on the top, and we'd make that mantra, and people don't do that no more. You know, in the summertime, the kids pack up, and they go on vacation. They get the heck out. That's why you're glad when school is out, because you get to go down south for the summer, or up north for the summer, or to the farms, or wherever you went in the summer. Um, and I see a lot of children don't experience that anymore. Because their their mamas are their grandmamas are their great grandmamas and they all struggle. You understand what I'm saying? And um, it's a mindset that has not allowed um, uh, 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 not allowed their children or offspring to be exposed to all types of situations that are positive as well as negative, so they'll have something to long for. So you have a lot of kids that I deal with on a daily basis, especially when I was running this group home. They had never even been to the lakefront. Beautiful big Lake Michigan, which is right down the street from me. I'm about 10 blocks from the lake. Okay? Maybe maybe 15. Maybe 15 blocks from the lake. There are some children who have never been outside their neighborhoods. They have never even been to the lakefront. And that hurts my heart. Um, as a kid, I've always lived by the water. I love living by water. I think the only times that I didn't live by the water, I moved. Um, but to not be able to swim or not to be able to just connect with the water, to me, is a travesty. I think every human being should have the ability to do that. I also think that every human being should have the ability to go fish and go out of your neighborhood where you can smell some fresh air so you can um, breathe, okay? So I'm saying that to say, I, like a lot of times I do these videos and I'm always talking about the kids I know because I know these wounded kids going to grow up to be hurt adults. And that's when my daughter or my son may get a hold to one of them and, um, they wreak havoc in their world because nobody, most people, I won't say nobody, most people don't wear their pain right on their face. 
a lot of times they can preempt these uh, relationships and keep them going for a considerable amount of time until you find them out. Um, and if you've um, got your emotions attached to it, it can, you know, you, you know, it can be pretty hurtful to be involved with um, somebody that is emotionally retarded. But what I was going to say about Jeb, and if Jeb won, I believe the, um, God, I just can't remember the car you won, Jeb. I think I just said it. What did you win, a Mustang or what was, I can't remember. But whatever car he won, he won because of, I believe, a question that he answered or he guessed the year of the vehicle, okay? I like playing this game. This game is, 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 uh, is cool. And those of y'all who like older cars like me, you'll think it's cool as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an opportunity to win another car. Oh, y'all said, oh, wow, really? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, you know how some of y'all, when we go to these dealerships and stuff, and they always have the models of the vehicle inside a display case and it looks pretty cool because you get to see different vehicles of different eras. I don't know if you've ever been into the service department of your dealer or something like that. Well, this kind of contest, well, what I was doing was kind of like a a derivative of that. If y'all got a display cabinet or if you like vehicles, again, like I said, I want to know who can guess the year of this vehicle. Can't tell you what it is. So what I'm going to do I'm going to turn it around, see if I can cover it with my hands, because some of y'all are pretty good. And, oh wow, some of y'all are pretty good. I don't know if you can see that vehicle. Oh, let me see if I can get it up there too. There we go. Can you see that? Can you, can you, can you? I'm going to turn it to the rear. So you can see the back of it. Because it's a, whoa, oh, y'all almost got me. <laughs> you almost got me. Actually, it's a replica of this model. This is the back. You should be able to see. I can show you this side very well. I can give you a real good close-up. And what I want y'all to do, those of my car enthusiasts like me out here, I can tell you that this vehicle is before 19, I'll tell you it's before 1970. So, all my car enthusiasts out here, let me see how many of y'all going to play. Uh, tell me the name of that vehicle. And it's yours. Okay? Just drive off. I'm like Oprah. I'm, you get a car. You get a car. You get a car. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.